To date, Uganda has administered 12,430,501 doses with 3,454 deaths and 435 active cases admitted at the health facilities. The Minister of Health recently announced getting rid of 400,000 doses of expired COVID-19 vaccines earlier dispatched to northern Uganda but ignored by beneficiaries over vaccine hesitancy. Only 4 million people, that is 18.2% of the targeted 22 million people, have been vaccinated. Dr. Odongo Samuel Oledo falls failure to decentralize public awareness into the hands of health workers. It's being passed by the pistols, pistols, you get it. And you're leaving out the actual stakeholders. Doctors are given airtime on the local talk shows specific days. But that is not the issue. Not everyone listens to radios. Can we have decentralization of sensitization that these doctors, health workers, the nurses, the clinic officers, the lab guys working with doctors, can they go organizing small community sensitization that they go down to the grassroots and that will even be helping us to talk about primary, primary health care, preventative diseases. Attitudes against vaccination reported despite forceful vaccination. He cautions against forceful action. Our ethical code of conduct, one of the things is the life of my patient shall be my priority. And the issue of confidentiality is not sending information and risk. But what we look at is malficiency, do no harm. Meaning I'm not meant to coerce anyone in whatsoever way to get my medical services. I'm not. So in that regard, we are not meant to force patients. We are not meant to force Ugandans to be vaccinated. No. The medics have advised public on health living and adherence to SOPs as a measure. Stagnation. So please, lifestyle modification. You run a little. Walk a little. If you cannot run, walk. Make your lungs hypersensitive. Let, let them be filled with oxygen. Let them be, also stretch your body a little bit, a little bit far. The cholesterol levels are high. Can we change our lifestyles, that when you do that, you prepare your body, that even when you're hit by COVID-19, the body is already fit. Dr. Oledo used platform to highlight plaque of quacks swarming around Mulago Referral Hospital. To quacks, we are coming for you. You're busy there practicing as a doctor and you're not a qualified doctor. We are coming for you. This thing of masquerading in hospitals, yeah, trying to distort money from our patients, Ah, yeah, let me take you. It is happening in Mulago. Ah, yeah, let me take you to this facility. I know this doctor so and so. Me, I'm doctor so and so. Quacks trying to come to facilities, masquerade, and, deep, and causing more pain to our Ugandans. Please, as Uganda Medical Association, we are going to be serious and aggressive. He warned health workers guilty of similar habits. No patient come to hospital when they are well. Nobody. The reason why they come to hospital is because they are not well. So can we treat these people as for people who have come to get a service from us. How do we talk to patients? The way you talk to someone can lead them to their grave, all a grave. Please, we have issues which press us, but can we brace up? By the time you're leaving your door, can you brace up and you say, I am going to save a life? Shamim Natewa, CTV, PM Edition.